Alexa, ask Jarvis what is the current temperature? Current temperature is 77.00 Fahrenheit. Alexa, ask Jarvis to set switch trigger to 26 degrees Celsius. It is done. Hey, what's up? Nasser Malik here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be doing a temperature sawn off switch. So let's get started. So here are some of the commands we're going to be giving. We're going to say, Alexa, ask Jarvis to set switch trigger to 45 degrees Celsius. And then should set a trigger. When temperature gets to 45 degrees, it's going to turn on the sawn off switch. When temperature goes below 45 degrees, it will turn it off. So I'm using 45 degrees as an example. I'm going to say Alexa ask Jarvis to set switch trigger to 40% humidity. It will work in a similar fashion as the temperature. We can also ask it to deactivate the switch trigger. We can also control the switch manually on and off with the voice command. We can also ask it what is the current temperature or humidity. So here are some of the components you're going to need. You're going to need a sawn off switch, USB to TTL converter, mini USB cables, Amazon Echo Dot and it. DHT11 sensor or you can use other sensors also. A step one, deploy Heroku app with single click. You can watch the tutorial 13 on how to do that. Step two, create Alexa skill. You can also watch tutorial 13 for that. Step three, flash sketch to Sonoff switch with Arduino IDE. Here's how you hook up the USB to TTL converter. On Sonoff switch, you will need to install the pins in here. 2.5 millimeter pins. The first pin next to the reset switch is 3.3 volts. Second pin is RX. Third pin is TX. Fourth pin is ground. And fifth is GPIO 14. So ground will go to ground from USB to TTL converter. 3.3 volt goes to 3.3 volts. RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. Step four, connect temperature sensor with Sonoff. It's very easy to do that. If you look at the temperature sensor, the negatives go to the ground. The signal goes to the GPI of 14 and positive goes to the 3.3 volts. It's very easy to connect this. I'm using the female to female breadboard wires to do that. Step five, connect 110 volt device to Sonoff switch. Very easy to do. On the input size, from plug to the terminal, you put the hot wire where the relay is connected and a neutral wire goes to the second pole. And similar on the other side, output. So output is where you connect your device to be controlled. This is how you need to hook up your USB to TTL converter to your um, Sonoff uh, switch. So if you look at the uh, uh, converter, you have a ground, uh, 3 volts, and it could be 5 volts also, it depends how you have the jumper settings. And uh, the TX, RX, and so on here we have a ground hooked up here, and then you have the 3.3 volt, this brown one on this side, so you can see this um, uh, brown one is hooked up on here and the black one is going to the ground on this side. And uh, also the uh, this uh, TX, the red one is going to RX here and uh, the, um, the orange one which is RX uh, going to TX on the Sonoff board. So once you hook up your board like this, so what you need to do is basically yeah, you need to hook up to your computer. I have this uh, mini USB uh, cable that's already hooked up to the computer. So before I hook up my Sonoff switch, I need to make sure I put in a flash mode. To do that, I need to press this black button before I connect it to this connector. So I'm going to press this down with one finger, hold it, and plug it in. 
and I'm gonna let it go and now it's in a flash mode we're gonna flash this with our sketch so this is a sketch um, if you go to uh, github project um, you can download this sketch from here and once you download it uh, you need to open it up in uh, Arduino IDE and change the SSID and the password and the Haruko app that you deployed so for Sonoff uh, for this sketch to work with Sonoff uh, you need to use uh, GPIO 14 uh, pin for the um, temperature sensor and humidity sensor and uh, GPIO 12 which is uh, default for the onboard relay everything else you leave it as is so we're gonna go ahead and uh, flash this okay so I put in my SSID and password so we're gonna go ahead and flash it now so we're gonna go to tools board and we're going to select generic ESP8266 module and hopefully um, you have your IDE environment set up with the ESP libraries if not please watch my previous tutorial and uh, once we're done here uh, make sure you go tools and uh, select a port and you can go ahead and click compile and upload so now it's compiling and it's going to start flashing the Sonoff switch and we should see um, light blinking on our USB to TTL um, converter so as you can see it's uh, um, flashing now on my first tutorial I got some um, comments that they are having issues uh, flashing the Sonoff switches or getting to work I'm not sure what the issue is uh, I'm it's pretty easy for me to do it I didn't have any issues with the Sonoff itself I had issues with the ESP8266 uh, and ESP32 boards but not with this one mm, so I'm not sure what the diff what the difference is or maybe you're using a different USB to TTL converter but as you can see now um, it is uh, going and go ahead and it's going to connect so uh, first thing you need to take a look at on um, serial console to make sure that um, it is connecting um, to the Wi-Fi once it does it's gonna put out these readings which are um, no good because we don't have the sensor connected yet but uh, we're gonna wait for it to say connected right here which is basically connecting the Haruko app and this tells us that it is connecting and the default command the default trigger that um, is set up so now we're gonna go ahead and hook up our um, uh, sensor with it and see what it's gonna so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that so I'm gonna unplug this so here's the temperature and humidity sensor that I used in the previous tutorial mm, and it's the hooks up the same way so on the board uh, how you do it um, basically uh, on the pins uh, this pin right here the last one from your right if you're holding it uh, this way uh, from the from the input so this is this is pin uh, GPIO 14 so I'm gonna connect signal wire which is white I'm gonna connect to GPIO 14 like so and uh, now uh, negative one is the uh, brown one on here this is negative so I'm gonna connect the brown one to negative which is the next to the GPIO pin and the positive is the last one the black one there you go so your um, our sensor is connected now Alexa, ask Jarvis what is the current temperature? Current temperature is 77.00 Fahrenheit. Alexa, ask Jarvis to set switch trigger to 26 degrees Celsius. It is done.
Alexa, ask Jarvis to deactivate switch trigger. It is done. Alexa, ask Jarvis to turn off switch. It is done. Alexa, ask Jarvis what is the current humidity? Current humidity is 43.00%. Alexa, ask Jarvis to set switch trigger to 44% humidity. It is done. A wet tissue. I'm going to light the fires to bring the humidity down so the switch will go off. Okay, this is it for this tutorial. Until next time, bye.